Hey, this is Mike Renoir, Northwest Fight Scene, NWFightScene.com. I'm here with uh, Lisa Ellis Ward. Lisa, how are you doing? I'm feeling great. Now, uh, you're fighting uh, a week from Saturday, uh, April 28th, Kansas City, Kansas, in the Victor Fighting Championships against uh, Jessica Pene. Uh, talk about the fight. Yeah, Jessica Pene, she's a, she's a tough opponent. Uh, she was in the on the other side of the bracket when I fought for Bellator. So um, she didn't make it out of the first round. She, she had Zoila first round. Um, it was an all right fight. She's had a pretty decent career. She was, I believe, 7-0 prior to that. So she's a, she's a tough girl. Um, she's been brought up very well, and uh, she's had a great team and great support around her. So it should be a really great fight. I'm excited for it. Now, uh, you uh, are fighting at 105 pounds, that's yeah. right? Yes, 105 pounds. Uh, okay, is this your first time at 105? Or? No, this is not my first time at 105. Um, first time I did 105 was about five years out of high school and um, I proceeded to do that for a few times and then they upped my weight class for the world championships for grappling so I didn't really see the need to go to 105 too much anymore and um, I did go one last time against Miku Matsumoto in Japan uh, for a deep promotion and I swore I'd never do it again uh, I just you know I, I kind of made a mistake with that one and, and didn't diet properly and so I really thought about it again and got on a diet a lot earlier, uh, a lot more strict, got a lot more cardio going. So the weights, I'm a lot bigger now too though, so it's kind of this catch-22. So um, I'll make weight though and I'll be a huge 105 pounder. And I, I quite honestly, I'm very tickled to see how it turns out because I will make weight and uh, I'm gonna look awesome. <laughs> okay, now you've seen Jessica fight a few times. What do, what do you think about her uh, stylistically and how you guys match up? I think Jessica, stylistically, um, I think I'm the more powerhouse. I've been wrestling a lot longer than she has, so I have more of that ability. I think Jessica's a hard worker and um, has to has had to, you know, uh, dig through some ditches and um, dig hard to get where she's at. You know, she's uh, she's definitely accomplished with what she's had, but um, I don't think she's ever faced an opponent like myself. I'm, I'm different than most girls. I'm kind of a Kind of a dark horse you never know what you're going to get out of me and uh, i'm really excited for this fight because I'm, I'm ready to be back at 105 and dominate and destroy and not let anybody think that they're going to take that spot for a while again so i'll hold that for a while okay now uh invicta fighting championships this is a real exciting event uh all female card uh marlos kunin versus Romy Rouse. Romy, uh in the main <laughs> event and you guys are the co-main uh, some real good, nice names on the card, real good names, a uh, real stacked card. Talk about the promotion. This is, this is a big deal. Yeah, so the promotion Invicta, uh, obviously they're going all-female fight card, which I think is great. I've been part of one all-female fight card promotion prior, and uh, I don't think they approached it correctly, and I think Invicta is really taking the proper steps to making this uh, something solid that could stick around that possibly my children could fight in if well, so they wanted to. If I even had kids, but anyway, uh, so but you know what I mean. Um, so basically, I, I think they're pull, putting together something very solid that could be around for a while. The pay is good. They've been treating us all well. There's good incentives and a lot of good publicity and um, social media going on. So it's a it seems good. I think they're, they're those ladies are putting together something very they're very good for us. You, you talked about in the past where you did the all female card. Uh, that was uh, Fatal Femmes fighting the, uh, the Triple F. Uh, back in 2007, <laughs> and yeah, and they didn't last at all. And, and Invicta being run by uh, Shannon Knapp um, and uh, the other lady. Uh, Boy, Shannon, why am I blanking? Oh, Janet Martin. Yeah, Janet Martin. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and um, like, oh. so you know, Shannon Knapp, of course, being in the, in the game a long time, she's yes. worked for Strike Force and all. It was, what do you think are are the differences in in, in how they're approaching oh. it? Well, I think the, the huge differences are that these women, um, Shannon and uh, Janet, they're more in for the women's MMA, Invi or not Invicta, but um, Fatal Femmes, they're more there for movies and um, this big hoopla and, uh, you know, quite frankly, they spent way too much money on all the hoopla, which bankrupted them. Uh, the pay was okay um, but for fighters, but, um, you know, Shannon and I think Janet are making a much more realistic approach. You know, fighting now is a sport for us girls and we need to make... Uh, payments some of us have kids and houses and you know and um, they're they're making it worth it for us and it seems like they're drawing a lot of really positive attention to their promotion 
Right on. Now, and it, it is streaming, uh, I guess, uh, on HD streaming live around the world, except for in Kansas City where it would be blacked out. Uh, so do you get to have people watching it? Yes, we will have uh, many people watching and uh, rooting us on, sponsors, and uh, it should be a good event. I, I would say probably over 2 million people will watch. That's just my guess. We'll throw that out there. <laughs> now, uh, you talked about sponsors. Who, who do you have uh, behind you? Well, of course, we have United Training Center, our home front, and um, we also have Clench Custom Mouth Guards, and uh, why am I blank? Can I get away my thingy? Uh, EMP Massage. And we have Tussle. Yes, of course, Tussle, what am I thinking? Tussle's been absolutely fabulous. He's supported me uh, for quite some time. And uh, Slade, just, he's a really nice guy to all, his, all of us girls. Um, and then we also have uh, Down to Pound Fight Gear and um, Vaisalas, Body by Vi. So, Body by Vaisalas. So, I'm a representative. If anybody needs anything, they can contact me and uh, we'll get you going with the stuff, healthy protein. All right. Now, uh, we are here uh, this morning at the United Training Center, uh, your, your guys' gym, you and your husband, uh, Eddie Ellis, uh, also a pro fighter. Uh, talk about the gym. You know, how long have you guys been here, and what do you got going on? So, Eddie and I have been at this location for almost four years, uh, so it's just kind of been a, a work in progress when we got here. Um, you can see behind me, we have a lot of stuff out there. When we first got here, we had just some thin old wrestling mats and we went on to win uh, some new Dahmer mats and I really set the place up nice and Eddie made our cage that we're actually sitting in. Um, he built it all by hand with a couple of our members um, help, a lot of help actually, but yeah they did it all by hand and uh, I'd say it's the best cage in the Northwest personally. And then um, you know we've just gotten more equipment more stuff keep filling it every time we have fight cards or Eddie and I fight we reinvest in stuff to make our gym better so it's going great now we have an amazing crew I couldn't even ask for anybody better um, the crew we have is girls guys all different varieties of people that um, just seem to all really get along and help each other and want to benefit from each other all right on well uh, you know sometimes if you uh you're working with the, the man that you're married to, uh, you can <laughs> run into some difficulties. Uh, have you guys come across any of that or is it kind of the normal stuff? Or The last few days, uh, last few weeks, I've been a little extra, a little extra feisty. <laughs> so, you know, and I, uh, cutting weight, you know, it, it's, it's challenging and working out really hard and, you know, you're feisty, not even trying to be mean really anybody else, you're just uncomfortable because you're sore and you're exhausted and, kind of sometimes not looking forward to your next workout and um, so he's caught in a little bit of the end of it but he it's not too bad we we get along remarkably well I'm remarkably sure you do. well we hardly ever argue and if it is it's just kind of like a er, 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 and then I'm sorry and I mean it's, it's simple it's nothing never too bad well you talk about the training uh, you know for this fight who are you working with besides Eddie so for this fight I've been working with Marty Robertson and he's a uh, kind of like a old school mix it up kickboxing instructor and um, he, he has a lot of different stuff to bring to the game and it's it's fun and um, he's taken me out of my element and um, brought me into something that um, we're really enjoying each other's company now and he comes down two to three times a week and we just spar hard and it's it's nice to have somebody pushing me uh, Eddie's fine to push me though too so I, it's it's just nice having two people now to be able to push me it's, it's great I like the uh, I like the discipline and the um, motivation. Okay, right now, uh, leading up to fight week, uh, do you go to any rituals the week of the fight, or just kind of, you know, make weight and, and that's it, or? Well, pretty, yeah, pretty much for the week of the fight, I'm just trying to make weight, maintain, see where I'm at, try to stretch a lot, um, a lot more than I normally would, and um, basically not a lot of breakdown, a lot, not a lot of breakdown, a lot of, um, I'll be doing swimming and light jogging, jump roping, shadow boxing nothing with really weights anymore and just kind of everything needs to lean out and drop my last 10 pounds and make weight okay and uh, who, who's going with you down there so eddie and marty are actually going we've got an awesome sponsor oh and i didn't mention oh such a stinker um hawks prairie automotive they uh they they've been very supportive as well and they actually helped me purchase the ticket for marty to come down um to help corner me as well so we've got marty and eddie coming down and then my dad will be coming down and with a few people, I have a gal that trained here with me, and she lives in Oklahoma, so she's coming up, and a few other people that know me out there. So 
should be just a little support group. It'll be fun. Oh, excellent, excellent. Uh, anyone to thank for uh, for getting in there? Um, just everybody that's been there for the support. United Training Center, mainly all of our members. Uh, we really couldn't do it without all of you guys. So, my family. All right. Well, hey, Lisa, I appreciate your time. I uh, look forward to seeing you near April 28th, Invicta Fighting Championships uh, versus Jessica Penny in the co-main event. Yes.